What are you doing? I'm trying to measure the pattern of this antenna. Hmm. Let me help you. Okay, war, 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 coal, coal, ha! Ah, ah! I wonder if there's a better way to do this. I don't know, we only have $1,500. Yeah, I wonder. The antenna under test is mounted on this two-axis positioner. Each axis is driven by a stepper motor, and the stepper motors are controlled by this board. A LabVIEW interface sends signals to the board that determine how much motion will be used. This DC power supply supplies power for the controller board and for the motors. The measurement antenna is mounted on this post. During an actual measurement, it will be mounted in the far field and in the line of sight of the ABT. Using LabVIEW, we can rotate the positioner around both axes. Let's move the yaw axis. Now let's move the roll axis. Now we need a signal generator and a power meter. Hey, I stole my roommate's Wi-Fi router. Great! The measurement antenna transmits a Wi-Fi signal. The signal is received by the antenna under test, and the receiving router is queried by LabVIEW providing its received signal strength indicator. To perform a scan, first select the principal plane. Then set the range and the step size. Finally, choose the direction of rotation and the number of samples to average. Start the measure with the scan button. The RSSI is obtained from the router, is corrected to account for no linearity and is presented here. This bar shows the progress of the measure. A pattern measurement takes about 15 minutes, depending on the settings used. At the end of a scan, the data can be saved in a text file, and is presented to the user as a polar plot. To measure the gain of the antenna, a standard gain antenna is needed. This Yagi antenna has a gain of 8 dBi. First, we'll measure the incident power using the antenna under test. Then, while keeping the measurement conditions constant, we'll repeat the measurement using this Yagi antenna. By comparing the received power measurements between the two antennas, we can determine the gain of the AUT. For this measurement, we're using a dipole as the measurement antenna. However, any antenna could be used for this purpose.